Hey, YouTube. I shaved my face, finally, and I have a haircut. Yeah. Uh, and we just finished filming Mad Mixology Season 2 premiere, which what? is going to be happening March 17th. So get mm-hmm. ready for that, and welcome to the side quest. My name is Grand LaHaye. I'm Justin Scottum. And I'm, I'm Nate Jones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <sighs> dear YouTube, today we bring you Side Quest for the Book Lover's Soul. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, we had a question. Justin, I'm going to let you read the question. Uh, yeah, it was from a Pittsburgh, Ber- uh, Pittsburgh Nerd Podcast. Uh, yes. They were asking... On what, the Twitters. On the Twitters, what our favorite book was. They went ahead and answered their uh, favorite book, and they stated it was uh, Ready Player One, which I have not read, so oh, I'm not familiar with no, it. I'm not either. And I didn't do my due diligence and looked it up, so mm-hmm. I can't tell... I can't even make fun of them. We just it. we just saw it uh, not yeah. even ten minutes ago. So, <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry for the lack of research there in yeah. ten minutes. I'm not sorry, but yeah. not at all. Yeah. You're never sorry, but you know that's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we just came to hashtag not sorry forever. <sighs> hashtag stop. Okay, so uh, who <laughs> wants to start? What's your favorite book? Um, Grant, you want to start this? Sure, one off? I have I have two that I've read. Uh, and this is not counting comics or scripts because I mostly read movie scripts and that's what I absolutely love. But two books I've read. Uh, first one that I continuously try to read all the time is The Giver. Absolutely love The Giver. Um, second one would be um, World War Z. Ah, well Only done. other book that I've okay. finished in my life. Cool. There's another book out there that I'm working on right now. Um, but I don't remember the name of it. And I haven't touched it in over a year. But it, it was really, really good, too. Not bad. Justin? Um, one of my favorite books that I haven't read it in a while, actually. I almost picked it up and started reading uh, yesterday. Um, it's a Battletech book, um, which is an amazing tabletop game that I used to play. It's also a video game. Um, but they had a trilogy called, um, it was the Clan of Jade Falcon trilogy. Um, so it's a series of three books and, uh, back in 2003, they released the trilogy all as one collected. Uh, that's a book that I usually can read in like one or two days. Uh, w- just a really good sci-fi book. Um, and then I would have to say one of my other favorite books is, uh, by Neil Gaiman, which is Neverwhere. Uh, Neverwhere is a really good book. Um, yeah, really anything by him, but Neverwhere was after reading American Gods, I read Neverwhere and it was just mind blowing. So nice. So uh, two of my favorite books there. Nice. Yeah. I have three. That's okay. I, I have, have a lot three. of books. <laughs> one. Yeah. Every, you guys can say my yeah. first one. Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide. Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, that's obvious. Yeah. Um, all of them for yeah. the most part. <laughs> um, two. The Help. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, <laughs> was never really into British humor until I read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So if if you have a hard time with British humor, or if you like British humor, read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. If you like... I still have your copy. I just feel yeah. like I should give that back to you. I have uh, the... What is it? Like, it's all of them in a leather-bound, gold-leafed... It yeah. looks like a Bible. Oh, you yeah. got the Barnes & Noble edition. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's really ridiculous. He doesn't have it. I have it currently, yeah, but he has it currently. I need to give it back because I'm probably Yeah. You keep you you were like don't give it back until you've read it and yeah. if you just start it, you'll finish it. And yeah. I tried starting it and I didn't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes okay, when I see a book that's like this thick, like I have to be feeling really feisty Maybe, to, to get but, in. But, but what I'm, you understand is I'm there's like super dyslexic. There's like six books in that. I know. It's not one book. I know. I just need to break it out into the smaller books. Maybe I'll be able to get through that a lot easier. But when I see that, I just start freaking out and I start seeing shapes and words and patterns and stuff and it's <laughs> freaking me out. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Dyslexics so, don't read a lot, by the way. Maybe to, I'll listen to it on just tape. Get a towel but that's not. And but sit the down size of the but the, <laughs> but the size <laughs> of the book should not trigger your dyslexia. That sounds like that's something just, else. It just triggers anxiety from yeah. knowing that I'm gonna have a hard time with it. <laughs> okay, I'll buy you a smaller version of the first book, and then you. I'm sure they have my a picture book, book like clip notes. 
No. Oh. Just just the fr- <laughs> just just because that's like the smallest version that no, I'll no, read. No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy you just the first book instead okay. of the entire series okay. in one book, like I have. Okay, so first one, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, second one. Um is Ishmael. Ooh. I love Ishmael. Huh. I tell anybody who who I have to say huh like I'm surprised. You've you've told me about that book I tell before. everybody about Ishmael. It's so good. I'm actually gonna read it again for like the fourth or fifth time. It's probably one of the only books I've read multiple times. Um it's a cool book. It's about a guy who uh, is a writer, he's like thirty two years old, and he answers an ad in a newspaper um that says students want it. That's all the ad says. And uh, he goes and meets up in these, this office, and there's a gorilla that speaks. And the whole book is about viewing the world from an animal's perspective versus a human's perspective. Mm-hmm. And what assumptions we make, and then logical assumptions, and then looking at it from an animal's perspective into humans. Nice. There's also a book called, uh, I think it's called My Name is Ishmael. Which is the same premise at the same time that this was happening, that Ishmael was happening, except for it's like a twelve-year-old girl, which I haven't read, and I've heard of that one. As I well. haven't read that one. Yeah. Uh, so Ishmael is like one of my all-time favorite books, and then the last one is Clapton, mm-hmm. uh, which is Clapton's autobiography. It's a pretty thick book. If you like music at all, Whew. you will love this book yeah. because it's not only just about Eric Clapton. It's about the music industry in the 60s in London. When you learn things like uh, the fact that Eric Clapton used to fill in as the lead singer for the Rolling Stones when they played a club every week. Uh, You learn things like um, Eric Clapton was once on his way to play a tour. It was actually a show for John Lennon. John Lennon had a festival. Uh, He got too drunk on the plane and... The minute the plane landed, he got arrested. And then they took him to the small town jail. And Eric Clapton was really fucked up. He was not only drunk, but high on many drugs. And he said, listen, I'm Eric Clapton. I got to get to the show. Nobody believed him. He's like, I'm Eric Clapton. Let me play the show. Because this was before the internet. Yeah. And, and they were like, no, nobody. And he finally said, do any of you cops have a guitar? And one of the <laughs> cops said, I have one. Let me go get it. He brought the guitar to the jail, gave it to Eric Clapton. He played for two minutes, and they set him free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's there's stories about the Beatles. There's stories uh, about the Stones. There's stories about amazing story. the Who. There's stories about every amazing band you can think of in the 60s. So it's, if just for that alone, it's worth it. Yeah. So Clapton, the autobiography. Nice. There's a, some great Clapton stuff in there, too. I have a third too. book that just came to mind. Kurt Vonnegut's Time Quake. Oh, I have that and I have not read it. So in Kurt Vonnegut's Time Quake, the reason why I love this book is that it's a book about, uh, I think it's every year, uh, January 21st of 2001 or something like that, time resets. And when time resets, you still do every single action that you did the year before. And so what's great about this book is that his uh, his character, Kilgore Trout, his main character that he uses a lot of his books. I love Kilgore Trout. Yeah, he's, he's one of the main characters. But the, yeah. the book is really great because it's about do we, in fact, really have free will? And when right. free will is taken away, mm-hmm. what would happen to the world when it actually has free will again? And so during the course of the book, as time keeps resetting, right before it resets, you have about a minute of free will. And when that happens chaos ensues uh it's a really good read i it was one of the i would say it was one of like the first books that i went ahead and just got and read on my own without having a school tell me what books i had to read (laughs) yeah uh and it was absolutely brilliant that's what kind of got me into a lot of other kurt vonnegut stuff as well so yeah i bought that book like two years ago so i haven't read it i love vonnegut so good so (laughs) So good yeah i love kilgore trout and I've never read the book where he's the main character. Yeah, yeah. But I I know him in all of the other books. Yeah, it's really, oh, really, like, really good. So. I'm also gonna gonna throw out Animorphs <laughs> and Goosebumps. <laughs> Goosebumps. 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 I would say way, like R. L. Stein. <laughs> how did but. you guys ever read or watch Goosebumps whenever you weren't exposed to to the right rating of a movie? I was gonna bring that up in the podcast. Yeah. 
You guys didn't watch spooky things, but you were able to watch Goosebumps. I was able to watch Goosebumps on TV when it was and read on. It. Yeah, that shit was spooky. That was like it was absolutely creepy. It was like ungory tales from the dark side. Yeah, yeah. I was, loved R.L. Stein's uh, scary stories. Uh, and, like, yeah, scary story too. So I always used to get that at like the book. Were those R.L. Stein scary stories? Wasn't it? I don't think those Who were R.L. Stein. I don't know. You're talking about the ones with the creepy, like, black and white drawings, yeah. the girl with the ribbon, like, yeah. she unties the ribbon, her head falls off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The dire wolf boy. I love those. Yeah, yeah those were the stuff. shit. Mm. You guys read those, but you couldn't watch rated R movies? I watched, shit? no, I did. Because they were books. They were expanding our minds. Uh, got I it. did. I watched horror movies and stuff like that when I was growing up. Right. If you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about to wrap the show up there, <laughs> uh, listen to the podcast. It's the last episode. It's it's uh, episode 77. 77. Called? Overrated. Boom. Um, we talk about some some rating system stuff and some movies that we watched as children that we probably shouldn't have. Um, but yeah, so you can find that on iTunes, Stitcher, or at EpicPodQuest.com, where you can also find some articles and fun stuff and whatever. EpicPodQuest.com. Indeed. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at EpicPodQuest or on Facebook at Facebook.com slash EpicPodQuest. Absolutely, and I'm also going to bring some self-awareness to you as you realize that you're on YouTube and you're watching our show. Uh, stay tuned for more Mad Mixology, which is my show coming back March 17th, where I teach you how to make awesome drinks for upcoming movies, TV shows, and DVD releases. You said that out of order, you I bitch. did. I did it for you. <laughs> um, we also have a lot of other cool shows coming up in the, in the spring and summer, um, as well as the show that you're watching right now. So tell your friends about it. Subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, and do all... Blah, 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 do things. Do work. <laughs> Internet. The side, the side quest, <laughs> now the longest running show on Epic Pod Quest channel. This is true. Yeah. Yep. This is true. Yeah, without a break. Yeah. We've missed a fun. couple episodes. <laughs> but yeah. uh mainly because we're too drunk or something. Yeah, or gets too late, even though yeah. today was not yeah. one of those times. Yeah. So subscribe, leave a comment below, and thanks for watching. Walk, Walk it off. off. Walk it off. Just Bye, internets. I thought you were about to do too legit. Boom, 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 too legit. Boom, boom, boom. Too, too legit, legit to quit. quit. Hi, hi. They can't.